Veridicus gets back in Soul Gain on stage 43. Soul Gain, Soul Gain. Uh, because it's on the Kuragane. And that's when he finally gets there. Actually, it might be before then. It depends on when what's his face absorbs Latuni. Not Latuni, the other one, Alfimi. Right then, well, we gotta set up our ship just right. Um, I want to stand here. She wants to stand like here. Yeah, 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 yeah. City's really good. And she wants to kiss her off all the time. About full on SRX. I've ac we've actually only combined our SRX like once this entire playthrough. So what's the form going? Wired arm. Wow. Wired arm. I'm gonna spin my arms around like this, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. Looks like it was I's fault. Finale. Sayonara. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the guests are pretty strong, huh? He's forced to stay in the R2 because there's the other thing they can do. I look surprised. Go for it. Have a lovely look. I would be too good in any other mech. The, the main reason you haven't used SRX is just because there's never been an opportunity to. It's fucked up. <laughs> Our series are all locked to their pilots, so he's definitely like, it's fucked up. He he can like the other two can do formation R as well, but the R series are all pilot locked, except for the Masaki route, the first 17 stages of the game, where Mai for some reason is in the R1. 
it's like, why not just have you say in it on the other route and have my in the ART one? Why make a special cheat just for that? Because they've got her in it and then they're like, oh, we can't form SRX and it's not very good because my can't do it. It's like, well, why not just have it not be there? Like for Kyosuke and Excel and they're on separate routes. Every goddamn time. <laughs> it's sorry, but it's over. Um, so Shine and Latune, they're famous idols or whatever, right? But Rai and Ryusei don't even have friendship with them. One-sided love and not even friendship in return. I'm gonna get below 25,000. Oh yeah, I forgot we gave her the um, satellite cannon. Guess we'll knife <laughs> knife her then. Let's do the the other thing. To see if Lami well, I mean, actually says stuff for the inbuilt attack because she clearly doesn't say much for the Imagine being told your favourite pop star and killed the peasant of the world. Uh, Tetsuya takes full responsibility for that, so don't worry about it, it's fine. Like, Bullet has said Nakuru and Nako, but I've only heard you say, say Nako now. Yeah, Nako! Ah, ate too much damage. It's okay, because the two is going to help anyway. If I set up better, we could have maximum break. SRX and just done it. Next and break SRX and Twinbird. 
But it's fine. So we blow her up. So ugh, I'm, I'm struggling this much with them. I guess it wasn't a fluke that they were able to defeat Wendelow's group, but we're not like them. No arms. New reading from one o'clock. Elevation eighty. One unit entering range three. Headed this way. It's a guest. A commander type. Another commander unit? Is it Roth? If it is, he's looking to settle the score from last time. But there's only one mech. That liege is... This battle is disadvantageous. Full back city. Roth. Is that you, Roth? It is. Then the reinforcements headquarters sent. That was you? Yes. Why didn't you contact me? No, why did you just disappear like that without saying anything? Th that's... Uh... I don't tell if you came here to help or guard the retreat. Back then, I was fucking said it. Is now really the time you're about to get fucking HTV? More importantly, it'd be difficult to defeat them right now. I'll secure a path for you. Get out of here. I failed my mission. Commander Zezenin won't listen to any excuses. We can't lose you, the head of invasion here. That's it. No other reasons. I, I have personal reasons too. Okay, I understand. Falling back. Poor Seddy. It's okay, they take the stick out of Roth's butthole later on. No HTB! The big gun! High tronium buster cannon or whatever. Enemies have retreated, no traces of them on the radar. That command unit came to help the high speed assault unit. He helped, but it was a reckless move. Captain, I don't think you should be the one who is saying... Who's I, Captain, I don't think you should be the one who is to be saying that. I see, you're still speaking in tongues then. Nah, that takes me back. H hey! <laughs> Love me when she does that... <clears throat> face. Like when she wrecks the machine. Captain, are we going to pursue? No, we still need to prepare before we reach the moon. Roger that. Stay on alert. Have all units returned to the ship? Roger. Axel Alma. Our goals were aligned, that's all. I haven't forgotten the past, and I'm not going to ask for your forgiveness. And I don't owe you any favours. You were the ones who destroyed Shadow Mirror, after all. Why didn't you run when you had the chance? If I could have run, I would have. So you stayed because of compassion? Nah, I figured I'd just watch you guys flounder around for a bit. Big talk. Captain Axel, will you fight alongside us? To get the soul game back, yeah. I don't plan on joining your team or nothing. You won't be paid, and you won't be allowed full access to the ship. Do what you want. Once I get what I need, I'm out of here anyway. You sure about this, Major Kai? I want all the firepower I can get right now. I'll talk to the captain about it. And now here's Zezanen. You sure took your time getting here, Grofis Lacrane? I apologize, sir. And you even failed to occupy Heaven's Gate. Here's Zeb. Commander, the unknowns move so quickly it really could be hell. Even though according to this report, he changed his teleport point to be able to fight the Steel Dragons. No matter what, we had to stop them though. And if Roth hadn't come, I would have... Whatever. Chef was, continue the assault on the moon. We need to control the moon cradle completely. Yes, sir. Lacrane, I'll give you one more chance. You will take Heaven's Gate with Forshua. That is all. Roger. And now Zeb. Commander, I thought our reinforcements would surely be ordinary soldiers. But then they sent Roth. And I hadn't heard that he was a mercenary before. I don't know why he became mercenary. I was introduced to him by uh, Gorakene. Gora Kennel? Gora Kennel? Fucking guess names. Go Karn. Go Karn. Go. Go. Rai. Go Rai Kennel. Gora Kennel? Whatever. Yeah, no, he does sound like a hillbilly. Like, he, his translator is broken, so he sounds like a sleepy, sleepy moron. He's really good. And then Zeb internally. Um, Gora Kennel. The arms trader that the commander is all buddy buddy with. 
So Mr. Roth is with those guys, hey? And that's why he didn't become a regular soldier. Maybe it's related to the Privy Council. I mean, he says his translator's broken, but he thinks like a sleepy idiot as well. 